report from the Kauffman Foundation landed on my desk and it talked about the opportunities we have to grow an economy uh, by increasing the number of startups and improving the number of startups that are successful. And it occurred to me that maybe it's easier, politically easier, to, uh, to deal with a growing economy than it is uh, trying to figure out how we cut spending someplace or raise taxes on somebody. And so this became something I have uh, developed a passion for. And uh, I teamed up with a, a Democrat senator from, what, uh, from uh, West, excuse me, from Virginia, Mark uh, Warner, and we have been pursuing something now in its fourth uh, version, now called Startup 4.0, in which we took a lot of Kaufman information and a lot of Kaufman recommendations and are working to pursue a tax code, an immigration policy, uh, access to federally funded research, uh, increasing the amount of money and authorization and opportunities for the uh, Economic Development Authority, the Department of Commerce, to uh, provide resources for uh, startup businesses and entrepreneurs. And uh, the goal is to see if we can get this legislation uh, through the Congress. Part of it, the tax code in particular, uh, the tax portions of our bill have already passed Congress. Uh, and we just think that if we can change the dynamic in our country where startups are honored and esteemed, uh, and, uh, and as a result of that, we've, we've pursued resolutions, encourage our colleagues in the United States Senate to, to host uh, startup events, to go visit startup companies, to talk about entrepreneurship. Um, over the years, I'm not wearing a tie, that's a very unusual thing for me, but I started going to, to uh, uh, South by Southwest, going to South by in Austin. Uh, I got out of my suit after about the third year I uh, got into a sport coat this, the, the fourth year, got out of a tie and a sport coat and, and a jacket. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how what we see in other places, uh, in Austin and in Boston and in Silicon Valley, that we can replicate, uh, replicate here in Kansas. And uh, I'm just here to uh, welcome you and to tell you that what you're doing is noble, it's important. One of the things I do when I visit with students at, in college or in high school, so what do you want to do when you grow up kind of question, and almost no one says, I want to start my own business. The conversation is, well, I want to go to work for, I want to be an engineer and work at Cessna in Wichita. Um, all that's fine, but it would be nice if there was a natural reaction to the question, what do I want to do when I grow up? Which is, I have an idea that I think could be a business and I want to start a business and I want to grow that business. And that's not, uh, that doesn't dominate the conversation today. And so to see so many of you here who have a, a, a desire to do that is very appealing. We're at historically low times uh, in our economy in the United States for startups, uh, and that is a problem. We've looked to the world, the, excuse me, I didn't say it right. The world has looked to us to be uh, what really is known around the globe as the American dream, and the absence of um, this entrepreneurial spirit uh, followed up with entrepreneurial efforts, uh, the American dream becomes something much less achievable. Um, a lot of our, the reason we struggled in getting this legislation passed mostly has to do, I think, with immigration. Uh, and uh, our, our suggestion, our legislation allows for 75,000 new visas for people who are foreign born, uh, but educated in the United States who want to put their capital into starting a business and employ Americans, employ people in the United States, and it allows for 50,000 more STEM visas for those who are interested in science and mathematics, engineering, and those are things that perhaps the most important thing that we can do. In fact, Kaufman uh, studies indicate the number of entrepreneurial efforts by those who are foreign as compared to American is a significantly larger number, about 40% of startups uh, come from uh, foreign individuals in the United States. The reason that, I mean, this, this is important. We want to utilize people's intellectual and entrepreneurial skill set. We want to utilize their capital if they want to start a business. But because it deals with immigration and people coming to the United States, that then lends itself toward uh, broader political discussion. The sad thing to me in part is that uh, I would guess that 80% of my colleagues agree with those two proposals, could vote for those two proposals, but too often, we can't deal with any immigration issue unless we deal with every immigration issue, which then results in us dealing with no immigration issue. Uh, and so 
we are redoubling our efforts and we'll look for opportunities uh, in this Congress and this Senate uh, to pursue uh, that success. I was, I'm reminded of visiting, I don't know, Google or Facebook, somebody out in Silicon Valley and they were telling me that they had hired, they said we applied for H-1B visas uh, for, we need 18 engineers and we got none of those in the lottery. But Senator, you should know that we hired them anyway. And I think that's kind of a sentence that's designed to get my attention. So how do you hire people when you didn't get the visa? And they went on to tell the story. We hired them uh, at our facilities in Canada. And the challenge there is not only did we lose 18 new jobs, uh, engineering jobs in the United States, but I have little doubt that but one or more of those 18 engineers hired will be a creator of the next Facebook or the next Google. And the sad fact is they're not the United States. They're someplace outside our borders. And so we lose a lot if we can't come together and figure out how to have a, uh, an appropriate, uh, fair immigration system. So we're interested in immigration. The tax code has something to do with the ability to, to retain uh, capital uh, and to reward uh, success in entrepreneurial uh, efforts. We want to improve the chances that regulations don't get in the way of a, of a new business. Most people starting a business don't have a lot of money, uh, and therefore any of the things that drive up the cost of just getting your business off the ground uh, diminish the chances for its success. Uh, access to federal uh, funded research, uh, and as I said, uh, additional dollars at the uh, Economic Development Authority uh, within the Department of Commerce to increase the commercialization of ideas uh, through the support of the, of the U.S. Department of Commerce. Um, I'm glad to be with you. I'm, uh, I admire your interest in entrepreneurial uh, efforts. I don't have your skill set. Uh, I don't know what skills it takes to have the job I have, but I know I don't have yours, and I honor and esteem those who do, and I wish you well. This is really about the American dream. Uh, if you can succeed in pursuing the American dream, you will help others achieve theirs. That's a great thing for uh, one generation to pass off to, to the next.